Hey makers, this is Dravin and I welcome you all to Power BI Beginner Tutorial Series. You are watching 18th episode of this series and today I am going to talk about the different way to share the Power BI reports. Generally when we publish the Power BI report after that distribution is sometimes a painful process. So there is one way to share the Power BI report among the user is via applications. So what is apps inside the world of Power BI and how we can uh, leverage that for sharing our report. Also, how you can share your report at the workspace level and what are the different roles available. We will uncover that part as well into this episode. So without further delay, let's jump into my machine and let's get started practically with the example. But as always, if you haven't followed still on my Twitter and Instagram, do follow me over there. So let's get started. So here I am on my machine and this is the Power BI workspace that we have created in the previous episodes. Now at that time we talked about the manage access option as well for the Power BI workspace. When we click on the manage access option over here, we are having the option to add the people over here. Now let's say for an example when I am adding any person over here into my Power BI workspace. Let's say for an example, when I'm searching that person's name, I have few options over here to provide the different privileges over here. You can set this person as an admin privilege or member privilege or contribute privilege or viewer permission. So now what do we mean by all of this privilege level and what thing we can do it with each privilege level? Let me try to uncover that part. First thing is let's talk about the viewer permission. When you make any person as a viewer permission, they can only view the report. They cannot share this report with anyone else. Also, uh, they can just read the data and, uh, you know, uh, from the uh, report or the data set that you have published over there. So viewer means only view only permission. Okay. Now let's go one more level up from it. After viewer, the next level of permission come up into picture is contributor permission. So what contributor can do? Let's see that. So basically when you are assigned with any kind of uh, contributor permission, you can basically add, edit or delete the content within the workspace, which means that of course you can access the report dashboards data set that you have published but with that if you want to make any amendment or let's say if you want to add any new report or let's say if you want to just delete any report from this workspace you will be able to do that so you come up with those privileges over here okay after that let's go to the member privileges so when you go to the member privileges basically of course whatever contributors can do you can do that plus you can reshare publish and update the apps as well so what is app that is something i haven't covered yet which i will talk about in a while but with member you can do that activity as well and of course the latest privileges is admin which is the highest level of privileges so admin can do everything that member can do plus they can change and delete the workspace as well. That entire workspace that I want to delete it or wanted to manage it, I can do that as well. And I can add another admin as well if I am added already as an admin. Okay. So this is what the different level of privileges are working in the workspace level. Now, let's say for an example, many times the question arises in our mind that, okay, uh, sometimes you are having multiple reports into the same workspace. Okay, and instead of providing the people access at the workspace level, let's say for an example, I just want that uh, I can just club some of the report together from this workspace, create some sort of app and distribute it with the larger set of audience. So is there any easiest way to achieve that inside the world of Power BI? So yes, you can create an app to distribute the report among the larger audience of your organization. And for that, there is an option available for create app. When you click on create app, it is just showing you this kind of option where you just need to provide the name of the app. So basically it come up with a three step. First setup, second is content and third is audience. Okay. So first of all, let's provide the name of the app. So I'm just providing power platform training sales team. Okay, you can just provide any description over here. So I'm just providing this kind of description. 
if you want to upload any kind of logo or theme color you can just select it from here so i'm just selecting this kind of theme color over here okay and there is an advanced setting as well uh, like you want a left pan if you want this app to be automatically install okay and now you know once you are done with the first step click on next to add a content over here the thing is that you just need to provide that what content you want to show to your audience so when you click on add content basically it is showing you the report and dashboard so let's say for an example in your workspace you have 10 reports so it will show all 10 reports over here and let's say if you are having a uh, 10 dashboard you can see all 10 dashboard over here as well so let's say for an example i just wanted to show these reports to the audience so i can simply select this out over here okay and as soon as you select this out it is exposing all the pages over here as well so we have added our report same like let's say for an example if you are having some other report or let's say for an example if you are having any other dashboard or anything if you want to add you can again click on add content and when you click on add content let's say i'm selecting my dashboard as well over here and click on add so basically it is just adding my dashboard as well over here for myself okay apart from that if you just want to add some link like let's say for example here i just want to add some link that okay uh click here to view more okay and let's say for an example over here there you have some your some of your third party link or anything like that you can just provide that external link as well if you want so you just provide like this https and whatever your uh, link will be you can just supply it into this particular fashion as well so it will support that link as well you want to open into the new tab or current tab you can just provide that and click on add so it will just add the link as well so when you click on the link it will just open the link for the user you can simply drag and drop as well if you just want to arrange it out okay and let's say for an example if you just want to create a completely new section so you can create this new section as well over here and in this new section let's say pick up the new section and let's say inside that you want to add something new you can just add it over there as well okay i'm not adding any more section because i don't have much things over here but at least at the capability part it is just providing and let me just remove the link as well and i'm just making it very simple with the two one report and one dashboard over here okay so we set up our content in the second step now the next step is that we need to set up the audience and for that click on add audience as soon as you click on add audience on the top you can able to configure the different audience many times we have a situation that we are having multiple report and let's say uh, when they open the app i want to achieve a functionality that okay certain set of group of people can only view certain report they should not able to see other report okay at that time i can set up the different audience for myself so let's say for an example the first one i can see here is of uh, my uh, power bi class 10 uh, report and you know this dashboard okay so who will be the audience for that you can specify the user or groups over here so let's say for an example over here i'm just start typing some sort of uh, uh group names over here that okay uh let's say for an example let me search for sg admin uh, sg users okay let's say for an example when i select users you know i want to make sure that users can see both of these things for myself over here okay so you can just provide here the say, appropriate security group and just have it like this okay let's say for an example i want to create another view for admin so in the new audience double click on that and let me just make it like a admins and for admins i only want that they cannot able to see the dashboard so i can just make it hide from here i can just keep this as well only here and what can i do here is i can just provide the security group name over here that okay uh, if i have any admin persona only to them i just wanted to show this particular part so i can just provide their name over here and now let's click on publish the app as a last step and you can set up multiple audience as well for yourself so first audience we set up where we set up this security group second audience we are setting up for them we are setting up this security group
right and let's click on publish the app and click on publish and basically this is taking around 5 to 10 minutes in order to publish the app and once it is done you can copy this link and provide to the users and when the users open they can just able to see this kind of view when they are opening your application so you know this is how the layout looks like you know the read only layout here they can't make any edits or anything like that you know but the theme color is that i have set here it looks very ugly so you can choose your theme color wisely okay and uh, I, I can see this particular report and this dashboard over here as an app okay so whenever you have a need to distribute your report among the larger audience and for specific audience specific reports and all you can probably uh, apply this kind of thing over here currently i am a part of both the uh, stuff so i can see both the tabs over here but uh, sometimes let's say if you are only into admins uh, you know you can uh, able to see only that one tab for yourself and you know you can see only this report you can't able to see the second one because we already hide that over there okay but here i am having the full privileges so i am able to see both the things but depending on in which security group you are in you can see appropriate view over here inside the app over there okay so that's probably it like we are almost reaching up to end of this particular series and again as i say this is the last uh, episode and the next one more episode is remaining is about the licensing where we are going to talk about the licensing in detail but this is what the overall start to end journey of power bi report development looks like right so far by watching these videos i mean almost you reach up to the 18th episode right so it's something that you uh, at least you know when you started this journey you really don't know nothing but at least now you at you get an overall idea about this overall journey because it is not like a, a very advanced level of playlist it's like you know uh, at least you will get an idea that how to get started with the power bi what are the features that you are getting what kind of report you are able to build this out how you can publish your report how you can share your report how you can distribute your report at least that part is getting covered over there okay obviously if you just wanted to go into too much detail training at the enterprise level uh, bi reporting and all we are always having our premium training program happening underneath my company powerplatformtrainings.com you can always check it out from our website link or maybe the uh, check out the number in the description box or uh, you know you can always connect us over there okay so that's pretty much it i wanted to talk about publishing the power bi report and distributing the power bi report with the applications hopefully this video is helping you and valuing your time if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram if you are looking for premium or paid training just the links are available in the description box or you can always check out our website for the latest information with this this is rubin signing off see you in the next episode of licensing with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye